Needs help. Come on, you've not skinned him one. Oh, yeah. oh. It's another match day vlog, the Reds face Newcastle in the first game of 2024 and it is another must win game like it is every single game for Liverpool. Uh, obviously Arsenal over the weekend dropped more points which means Liverpool need to capitalise and they also need to keep that little bit of breathing space above Manchester City. Uh, but like I mentioned yeah, it is New Year, it is 2024, there is a party going on in the background so if you can hear it I do apologise for that. Um, but Liverpool need to start off 2024, hopefully with a win. And a uh, happy new year to all of you. Hope it is a boss new year for you. Uh, and hopefully the Reds bring home some trophies for us to celebrate and make it a memorable year for us all. Uh, before we do get down to Anfield, please do like this video and also subscribe to the channel. I cannot thank you enough for what you did for me and my channel last year. It is absolutely mental that I have over 30,000 subscribers. And it is thank you to every single one of you who you support me in 2023 hopefully it's going to be a boss 2024 and let's hope the red started off the correct way with a valuable three points let's get down to Anfield. Charge it in the middle of the pitch, can't make simple decisions. A booking that has been nailed on booking for the past 10 years, which has been a booking since I've been alive. Joe Linton put on a counter attack with Sobo on the edge of the box. Sobo's got Diaz to his left, Salah to his right. He's also potentially got Darwin Nunes. And he gets back back by Joe Linton on the edge of the box. He can also shoot. We know his shooting ability, and apparently that on the counter attack, like 3v3, is just not a fan. It's not a yellow card, so he does not give it a yellow card. He then gives Diaz a yellow card for being nudged, and it might not be enough for a foul, sure, but he's not going to ground for no reason. And right, he's got a right to argue because this referee is booking our players here and everywhere. And a, a nailed on yellow card is just not being a yellow card. As for Liverpool, I 
think we've shown really good intensity. We've been the better of the teams. We've not had our chances. First 20 minutes, I thought the intensity was unreal. Newcastle could not get out of their own half. We were literally suffocating them. But we've missed our chances. We've missed the penalty. So our Nunes has missed about two or three. It's touched for the list. He has been offside. Thank God it was offside uh, for him. But bad for us because Diaz has scored being given offside. They've had one that's been given offside as well. And we've let the game get a little bit out of control, and so is this referee. Um, Newcastle are now understanding the press more and they're getting out of the press, which they weren't doing for the first 20 minutes. They're getting out of the cause of problems. I think Matara Wende has been brilliant. I think Joe Gomez has been brilliant. I think Curtis Jones has been brilliant. That right hand side needs to improve. That Salah needs to improve. Dominic Sobersai needs to improve for his passing. Um, yeah, mad mental 45 minutes. Uh, and the referee has been the star of the show so far, apparently. Um, We've got to expect Newcastle to get there every last second half, so we need to put our chances away. And we need to make sure that this referee does not dictate our game of football, because he's having a field day doing so right now. Come on. Let's get a new show. You've not skinned him once. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Boys, what are we 
we doing? What is the defender about? Every time. It's just horrific. I don't know. Full term, I'm also at Anfield. Liverpool win 4 2. What a way to start 2024! Liverpool sit top of the table. 
Um, we couldn't score a single goal in that first half. It felt like we couldn't hit a band or a side from their keeper. He was saving everything. But in the second half, Liverpool showed up. And uh, it was a bit too close for comfort because we kept conceding a couple of goals after we'd scored. Uh, but ultimately, the Reds were just boss today. They were superb. Um, the way we played was unbelievable. Curtis Jones was sensational. Uh, I, I really thought he was the one who, who made everything tick today. His balance, the way he kept the ball, his control, superb. And he gets on the score sheet. That's my scouse of that. Um, yeah, Wataru Endo, brilliant. Gonna miss him so, so much. Um, also, I thought Gomez was superb. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe what I've watched. It was unbelievable. Um, and like I said, top of the table. I hope we finish top of the table come May. Uh, but enough of me. I'm freezing. Uh, but I am so, so happy. Until the next one, up the Reds.